Hi there. I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Wednesday, August 19th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you would like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen appearing in red. Okay, let's solve a Wednesday puzzle. With five across means of survival. This isn't going to be a repeat of uh, Joel's puzzle recently where all of the acrosses were connected, is it? With nine across placed to yacht shop. Whoa, it might actually be. Is this? It's kind of weird, right? That this is with five across and then this is with nine across. That might be actually theme related. I was joking. Okay, I haven't really been paying attention though. Means of survival. Placed to yacht shop. Oh my god, with 16 down. How many cross references are there? Does it go all the way around the grid? Holy cow, with 39 down. So this is like a big like word chain going all around the grid. It's like one across, sorry, I like haven't even started solving, but like there's just theme right in my face. So one across and five across are gonna be some kind of compound phrase, and then five and nine is gonna be a different co legit compound phrase, and etc. with nine and 16, and maybe all around the grid. So this is, yep, with 70. Wow, okay, so what is going on here? It's hard to get started. Um, I should just look at something that's not a, uh, a cross-referenced clue to get started. So sign me up. That sounds like I'm in. Mosque. That's um, probably an imam. Uh, cooling off period. Hmm. Some kind of some kind of joke that I'm not seeing. Puma competitor. Hmm. Not sure. This should be a sneaker brand. Oh, Nike, obviously. I should have seen that earlier. Cooling off period. Uh, I still don't see that though, weirdly. One signing up. Enlistee or something? Enrollee? Enrollee, like that? Okay, with let's see if I can get one of these. With four oh, so this is now with 41 across, which is different from the others. And this is with one down. So it goes around like that and then it goes to the center. So strange. So strange. Okay, with one down, company named for two magazines. No clue. And this looks weird. This can't be right. So it's not, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Message with many BCCs. Ugh. I gotta, I gotta figure something out. So that's the C. So maybe it's an enlistee? An enlistee? The thing is that doesn't work with the K any better than the R did. So Nike could definitely be wrong. But I felt so good about it. All right. Lay it on me. Interesting. Okay, blue material. Is that like smut? Sometimes they call that blue. Lunar New Year. It's tet in olden days once. I really want to figure out what's going on with this puzzle. MDX maker. Damn. I don't think I know this. It's not looking familiar. What may be tested by parking a car in Harvard Yard. Okay, so that is like a joke about the Boston accent. Oh, there it is. Boston accent. <laughs> that's that's a fun entry and a, a great clue for it. Boston accent. Wow. But well, maybe tested by parking a car. Because people say park your car in Harvard Yard. All right. Uh, so this is boat probably then. Great. Means of survival. Lifeboat. Fantastic. We got one. Lifeboat and place to yacht shop is like a boat. A boat expo or something i don't know a boat fair or something interesting so we have one everybody cooling off period is that fall fall is when it starts to get colder and then generational sequence life is it life i don't think i know this but email looks right email chain great Good entry, good bonuses in this so far. Email chain and Boston accent. We got two more that are these lengths, and I don't think these are theme related. Passionate sort, it said, as a Leo, that makes sense. This might be an F, but I'll just get the 41 across later and, and confirm. Um, enlister, probably, and it's Acura. That makes more sense. Fictional maker of earthquake pills and tornado seeds. <laughs> That's gotta be Acme, like what Wiley e. Coyote uses to get the Roadrunner. Uh, it's a stretch. Maybe like an Eon or an Era? 
Oh yeah, it's it's hard to solve these sections I'm noticing with all the cross references. Like I'm so tempted to get get the edges first, but um it's not as helpful as it usually is in this puzzle. Santa Claus flight tracker. I have no idea. What does that even mean unless it's like Rudolph? I have no idea. Sun Valley locale, darn. Judd, that's Judd Apatow. Okay, cool. Yay! It's like Wahoo or something. Yahoo. So maybe it's Eon and ya Wahoo? Yahoo? Something like that? Seems reasonable. With 39 down, minimize. Is it downsize, perhaps? Let's see if the Z works. Destroyer of the town. Not, I'm not sure. Um, Alright. What is this? Idaho? Could be? Fits, all right. Santa Claus flight tracker. I don't, I don't get that, and I, I'm forgetting this person's name, unfortunately. Long shot is sniper. Good. Norad. Is, hmm. Darn, this is tough. But this is with 16 down. Decisive confrontation is a showdown and a boat show. Great. Wahoo. And um, is this an O, Santa Claus flight tracker? But I don't get no rad somehow. Not sure if I'm supposed to get this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this blank for now just because I'm a little confused. But um, I'm really curious why we're doing this, right? We're going around the puzzle with a chain of words, lifeboat, show, down, and there's gonna be some reason that we're doing this and I have no idea what it is. I'm very curious. Introduction to magic. I'm not sure. Cheers, waitress, and scrubs nurse. Carla. Carla was a nurse on scrubs, right? Darn. It's created by wind, rain, and traffic. Huh. Interesting sort of intentionally slowly going through this because I kind of don't want to get 41 across yet, but maybe I should just go for it. Um, headwear for Sikhs. What are those called? Golden God, darn. Place to see Warhols. Is that the MoMA? That would make sense. Book of Mormon book, I'm not sure. Oof, this section's gonna be hard for me. Thick noodle is Udon, okay. With one down, company named for two magazines. So Life is the name of a magazine. And it's a company. So it's, um... What is it? Oof, what is this golden god? I really don't know that. Is it an email chain? I think so. Let's see if the end checks out. One putting down roots. I have some kind of, cause okay, so this is turbans, right? And I almost want to say that this is like someone, when you dye your hair, you're putting down roots. Does that make sense? But is an email braid a thing? That is something I don't know. Tony what? Damn. Time, lifetime. Interesting. Okay, so Time is another magazine. Great. Golden God. An email what? Maybe it's not. Uh, oh, an email blast? Yeah, that's what it is. Email blast. Idle. And then... Oh, this is a tough cross for me. Two f just trivia facts that I don't know. I'm tempted to put an... Oh? or an I are my picks right now. Damn, I'm not gonna be able to get all these, but uh, all right, Email Blast is a fantastic entry. Um, I just, it's more modern, I feel, than Email Chain. Email Chain was good, but um, Email Blast is like, I don't know, I, I, I like it. It, feel, it feels more modern to me. But then what is this? One putting down roots. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe ends. All right did up so let, let's crack this now let's get this center which i feel like holds some secrets to this puzzle 
Nail it. Centipede producer is Atari. That's a tricky clue. Centipede the game. C1 down. Okay, so that's all we're getting there. Generational sequence is a life... What? Actually, I, I wonder, maybe there isn't a revealer, and it's just and it's just the fact that... Uh... No, well, why is this going to the center? This is going to be... This is going to be somehow the key. Passing a drug test, say. Clean. I like that clue for clean. It's, it's just unusual. Nail it. Is it ace, maybe? Ace? Did up is styled. Life cycle. Ah. Uh, life cycle. Huh. So uh, maybe that's the whole thing, that this is a cycle around the grid. Interesting, interesting stuff. All right, let's 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 keep... Oh, they're Carla's because they're, it was an and. That was my bad, not carefully reading the clue. It was Carla, that was correct. Um, introduction to magic. Is it like... Uh, what is this? Ambient noise? Wow. These long bonuses are very interesting in this puzzle. Ah, uh, Abra as in Abracadabra is an introduction to like a magical phrase, wow. Okay, cool. Let's go over here. One putting down roots is a tree, it wasn't a dyer. That's a better answer than I thought. Overnight flight is a red eye. Good use of a six letter slot, but what is this DT that's weird? I suppose it's possible for a last name. Standard. Not sure what else. Actress Claire. I don't know that. With 27 down, Apple app. 27 down is time. Um, what's the Apple app? FaceTime. Good. FaceTime. Blog post. An essay? A conveyance that may be carved. A canoe? Let's see. What else do we have? Maybe it's not. Oh, it's an entry. Good. Entry and um, norm works good with 50 down athletes intense expression so that's f um, game face good rainforest dweller in brief is that like an orang and then gossipy sort is I think this is a yenta Whew. tough tough section okay cool so let's 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 move on. Old memo writer. That's a steno. I'll pass. That's uh, what's that? Crush alternative. That is a, uh, that's a soda. So this is gonna be uh, knee high. And then we have um, advantage in sports. Home game. Okay, cool. I'll pass. Nah. And then calendar spans with tildes or años. Often misused pronoun is whom. True. Like most debates. Is it two-sided, maybe? Could be two-sided. Small power sources are double A's. Apprehend is nab. Title detective of 1970s TV. Uh, I don't know. With 62 down, lie motionless. Let's get 62 down. Traveling music fan of old. Uh oh. All right, let's go. Hits opposite. Not sure about that. Plenty. Maybe lots or a ton or a lot. Could be a few things. Grind. Let's see. Sound from a pen. Oink. That's a good clue. It's a pig pen, not a not a pen pen. Good clue. Destroyer of the town. Hmm. So I thought that this could be downsize, right? Minimize, downsize, that definitely seems plausible. Hit and what? What's the opposite? What's the opposite of hit? Uh, grind, and then, okay, what's this? So-called third stage of labor. Yikes, I'm struggling. Birth, something birth, is that right? Catholic church informally. Peace sign. Huh. Rating for South Park. TVMA? 
uh, a dove. It's an interesting clue for dove. The 70 across, call it a night, say. Head home. Novel of Romantic Misunderstandings is going to be Emma. The Catholic Church informally. Is it just Rome? Wow. Quite informal. Or, or I don't know enough slang for uh, the Catholic Church. Okay, so traveling music fan of old is a deadhead. That's good. That makes sense. And then um, Starsky. Nice. Starsky and Hutch. That K was clutch for me. Starsky and Clutch. All right, what is this? Afterbirth? Wow. The long entries in this puzzle are quite interesting. They're very unusual. Hits opposite. Huh. Hit could have so many me meanings is the problem. Grind is toil. Good. Destroyer of the town. So it's not downsize. It's downplay, maybe? Downplay? And play dead. Motionless, good. Play dead and downplay, excellent. And then, uh, oh, this is gonna be um, Etna, Mount Etna. Tricky. Okay, plenty is lots, and the opposite of a hit, like a smash hit, is a flop. Makes sense. Okay, now I have two blanks. I think that this is an O. I think that that is this woman's name, and, um, Santa Claus Flight Tracker. Does NORAD make sense and I just don't get it? Or... Yeah, I'm just not sure I'm getting that. And then what's this? Tony Romo? Sounds mildly familiar. Fantastic, wow. I honestly was not expecting to, to get all those guesses correct, so I am pleased. So this one was very interesting. We had this, um, this word chain going around the entire puzzle and it ended on cycle which is, so it was life's, whoa, you know what I just realized? Life is repeated twice. Wow, okay, I see now. So it really is a life cycle, like it is a cycle that starts with life and ends with life. Okay, wow, so that, that's interesting to have a life at one across and one down, that's pretty new. And then we go all the way around and then come back to life and end with a life cycle. Interesting, very interesting concept. It feels pretty fresh to me. And uh, and the phrases were all totally legitimate, um, like all real compound phrases, no stretches whatsoever. Yeah, this, this theme, it felt original and um, curious, and I, I really like this touch of the one across and one down both being life. I, I think that's that sort of makes this this pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm curious what other people's experience of this puzzle was. I swear I thought that, like, I was going to get a repeat of Joel's puzzle where every across entry was a cross reference, but uh, it was it was the border, and, and that, that gives us a cycle. Very cool, very cool idea. Um, and, and the rest of the puzzle was good. I really liked the long bonuses in this puzzle. Email Blast is very cool. Boston accent with a great clue. Um, ambient noise and afterbirth. That is, that is good stuff for your bonuses. And we had other stuff. Um, Two-sided is pretty good. Enlister isn't as good. Um, and what else do we have? Turbans and Starsky. Yeah, good bonus fill in this puzzle as well. Some of the sections were a little tough for me. That could have just been because it was hitting me right in my uh, kind of, uh, like, gaps of knowledge. Romo and uh, Crossing Enos was a particularly difficult one for me. I don't know what NORAD means. I'm very curious what Santa Claus Flight Tracker means and what NORAD means. I'm, I'm grateful that I, I kind of remembered this woman's name. Uh, I think this section also was with the pileup of proper nouns with Foy, Arendt, and um, Crossing Yenta was was tough and uh, I, I survived this from having solved enough crossword puzzles to vaguely recognize these things. Um, but yeah, overall I think the fill in this thing was good, I liked the bonuses, and the theme was very curious. It was something uh, unusual and, and I enjoyed it. I think my favorite clue today while solving was probably the clue on oink, sound from a pen, just because, I don't know, I, I I feel like that could have been like really tripped some people up because um, I at first I was thinking like, okay like pens like click I guess they make a tiny sound as they like glide across the paper but then it hit me that uh, it was a pig pen and oink uh, made sense so I, I like this clue I think it was it was playful 
Um, I also liked the clue on Acme, just because Acme is often clued in kind of the more boring way of, as being the like um, peak or apex, but uh, cluing it in terms of the cartoon company that sells all those wacky weapons to Wiley e. Coyote and uh, earthquake pills and tornado seeds are, you know, exactly the kinds of things I remember from watching cartoons. So uh, that was just a fun reference for this clue. And I also liked the clue on clean just because um, I like clues that use, you know, not, not the top three uses of a word. You know, clean can be uh, to describe something that's not messy. It could also be the verb to clean, you know, but thinking of it clean in terms of um, not using drugs is, uh, is, is a nice kind of unusual use of the word, and I, I always like seeing that. So yeah, this was, this was a really nice Wednesday puzzle. Uh, well done, Brandon. I enjoyed it, and um, I hope everybody else liked it too. And I will be back here tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And uh, if you're new here, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.